video to show off a few things. It's a sample map just based off of the low poly thing from the marketplace. And this will be a demo project that I'll provide a link to just to show how the plugin works for people that don't want to, you know, try to implement it just to see how it works. And I'll keep updating this as new things are added, like uh, multi-handed grip and things. Um, it's multiplayer by default. And it runs through Steam. So if you launch it and there's no servers, you become the server. If you launch it and there are servers, you'll join them if they're within your region because test app is region locked. You can test multiplayer with friends this way. Uh, it should work fine for the most part. It is going to be a little buggy with step up because of this uh, random little thing I have still implemented at the moment, where if your client, the server is not going to get your correct tap capsule height currently because I haven't replicated a capsule height change every now and then that I have going on, which is where it, every now and then it samples the height of your headset and changes the capsule height to that. So. If you're too tall for something and you crouch, you can go underneath it then. This basically sets the collision mesh for the um, capsule to be the height of the player that's playing the game. And it's really nice in single player. It's not too intensive on CPU. It's very intensive on multiplayer on CPU. So you wouldn't want to update it too quickly. I had a version that was working pretty good that bypassed a lot of the expense, but um, I threw it out a while ago, hoping I could get it better, and I've never gone back to it. So if you're in multiplayer and you're walking around as a client and you try to step up on something, it might stutter and not let you up because of this capsule height difference. Server will see you as being higher, taller, or shorter than you are when you go to step up, and it causes problems. Just forewarning. So controls. Um, Right controller, right will move your screen percentage up, left will move it down. This is just so you can see a difference in quality. I mean, 50% screen percentage is terrible, and obviously 170 is going to look pretty good. Grip button will change what type of grip you use to pick up objects. Interactive collision with physics is default. That's the one you see me use where you pick something up, you go place on something, and it just uses physics on it. This does not work very well with unwieldy objects with weird center of masses, as it shouldn't, honestly. This is pretty much correct. See, this is heavy, and it's got a really weird center of mass to it, so it's really floaty around the attachment point. Now, if you increase the grip strength, it'll stay better to this, but I don't have grip strength changing. It's always the same right now. The plugin allows it to be changed. I just, I mean, this doesn't have any game logic. There's no point in me doing it. So if you're going to pick up something on Weldy like that, you can change to like a sweep with physics, which doesn't do that. And it has no problem picking things up and using them. Um, triggers are gripping things. So either hand you, oh, that doesn't have collision. Either hand you walk up to something and use the trigger, you can just grip it, wave it around trigger again to throw it. On this one, thumb forward is teleport, which is a Proteus' tele template teleport. I've never bothered to change it because it's, I mean, it's just a teleport. You hold it down, point where you want to go, let go, you teleport. Right hand, more interesting. Right hand has forward to move where you're looking, backwards to move away from where you're looking, and grip buttons to jump. So. You can jump around the level, have fun, stuff like that. I will release a sample project eventually, but I have multiple plugins that aren't released to the public in this uh, demo project that I would have to decouple before I did so. Things like Voxel plugin and some other things that aren't necessary. So I wouldn't put up a sample project anytime soon. I have to delete too much stuff from this before I could really release it to where other people could actually use it. But I will eventually. I just have a lot of stuff going on right now. But this is just to see what it's like to use the plugin for people that don't know, so you don't have to create a full project to test out features for it. And I guess just have fun. 
Let me know if you find any issues that are obvious. I mean, there's going to be some bugs. It's not a full-fledged experience. So.